Hello everybody, welcome back to Phoenix in the Carpet, episode 6. What to do with a burglar? I don't know, we should ask Bilbo Biggins. So last time, they gave lots of cats away from Persia. I wasn't happy with that at all. It was a bad episode and then they got burgled at the end. So I guess this is, must be a follow up. So please like and subscribe and follow me on these platforms if you can. I'm just starting to use them. I'm not really in the mood to do an introduction. We've got a wasps hive that's been there for weeks that won't go away. And they're getting in the kitchen from somewhere and the woman down the stairs doesn't open her window and she's a smoker and she's making her house minging. Let's get on with the show. I, I, I don't mind a cow. I was brought up on a farm, but, but I, I swear I'll never do another job if I need to get rid of these cats. But we don't want policemen here. Wow, well, he's a weirdo. We're going to send him away in the please. carpet and give him Take a new light. Hi, that's open. All right, I'll, I'll try. Scared of a wee kitty cat. They're just thirsty. If they had a good long drink of milk, They'd be quiet and we'd be safe. Milk. If he grew up on a farm, he could milk the cow for them. Everything's gone quiet. Do you think the cats have gone to sleep? <laughs> no such luck. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh. Little fur balls as far as I can see. Oh, hello. This is a friend of mine. He's milking the cow for us. Golly, this is splendid. I hope you didn't mind milking her. Mind? Reminds me of old times, this does. Apples in the orchard, rats at fresh in time. How pretty it was seeing the pigs killed. Uh, no. No, no. I'd only been gone a minute, wetting me whistle down the white heart, and when I come back, the barrel was empty. What a shame. Well, couldn't afford no more, could I? Then I saw your front door standing open. I had to leave the latch up. Well, we hadn't got a key. Back. Help me. Yes. You can have the cats. Cats? Me? To sell them, I mean. You see, they're Persian, and that makes them very valuable. Yes, of course. You could buy a whole barrel load of oranges, and apples, and pears, and you won't have to steal. They're standing on the apples and pears. Okay, that's the burglar gone. Burglar, burglar. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's the burglar gone, so what are they going to do now with the rest of the story? I don't think I could stand another party like that in a hurry. No, me neither. My, it's still reeling. <gasps> she fainted because she's seen a cow. All right, old girl. You'll soon be back in your comfy cow shed. <clears throat> what have you done to her? Have you been playing one of your tricks? Well, not exactly. Someone you screamed. Oh, we'll have to put her on the sofa. Ta-da! That's all got holes in it. What happened? If it comes to telling tales, there's others who can do that. Others? No, blackmail. Where were you two last night? I think you ought to get on with your work. This is a cow who ever heard such rubbish. It's amazing what bad blackmail does. A trick or roly-poly, Master Cyril? Extra large. Very good. Excuse me, miss. Might I have a word with you? There's nothing like firmness. Look at the bare worn patches. Those cats must have put their claws through it. Look at the hole in the middle. That's where the cow stood. My goodness, it's wearing out. That carpet has been your faithful friend, and this is how you treat it. This is a nasty hole. Why should you go somewhere and get repaired? Duh. Well, you won't be seeing him for some time. Why not? Because he's under arrest, that's why not. Arrest? Yes, for stealing valuable Persian cats. Stealing? Oh, no, that's wrong. Well, don't you argue with me, young man. I left him himself this morning. So they're just going to let him rot in prison? Why don't they get the carpet to get him out now? This is oh, awful. <laughs> I it's like wicked. when he disapproves. 
I suggest you rescue him from this dank dungeon into which he has been cast. Mr. Burglar? <coughs> I was afraid. I'm sure that is Louis' son name. Someone's coming! <coughs> What's going on in there? What's all that around? Sorry, Governor, I was, um, uh, talking in my sleep. Can't help you escape. How can I? Shh! <laughs> it could be any louder. I wish, I wish I was where you wanted me to be. Oh, hello! Remember us? How are you? We didn't them little varmints again. Fancy you paying me a visit. Oh, Cook, you do look happy. Do I? I don't know what you guys. I'm not sure what that was there. He's got no one else to look after him. Please say you will. What a handsome gentleman. Morning, Mrs. Uh, Ma'am. Uh, Majesty. Oh, seeing as I'm Queen, why shouldn't I say what I think? Best looking fella I've seen this many a day. Cool. Oh, they're going to get married now. Don't tell me. Cook. Queen, whatever you likes to call her. I reckon she's my sort, she is. Oh, I knew it. I wonder if she'd keep company. I'm sure she would. Please ask her. I will and all right now. I always was a quick hitter. I'd like to tell you straight out as I like your looks. You've got a kind face. I'm a single man. I'm a mild in me habits. And I'd like to have the pleasure of walking out with you next Sunday. Ask her to marry you and have done with it. Marry? I always swore I'd be married proper in church. If I can't be married by a good Christian clergyman, then I'll live and die like what I am. And what she is is what she is. To those fortunate few who are privileged to see <laughs> visions and to witness miracles, <laughs> is that, their can faith is strong. <laughs> they can have no doubts. Septimus, we are waiting. I don't remember that. Oh! How do you do? We're frightfully sorry to bother you. Most kind of you to come. Do you feel all right? What were they doing in that back together? Pardon me for asking, sir. Are you a proper Christian clergyman? Am I permitted to answer? Well, I asked you a question, didn't I? The Reverend Septimus Blenkinsop at your service, ma'am. What a name! Curate of All Saints, <laughs> Camberwell. Dearly beloved, we are, gathered here today. we are gathered together here in the sight of God with this ring, I thee wed. A vision I shall treasure all my life. Must be after midnight at home. It's time we all went back. Bye bye, Anne. Bye. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Bye bye, Bob. Thanks for all your help. I wish you'd take the reverend gentleman back to where you found him and then take us home too. <laughs> And that was the Phoenix in the Carpet, end of part six. Nitchy beard. Yes, yeah, so that was a nice episode. That was good. The way they rescued the burglar, even though we didn't really know his name. And it was nice to see the cook again and the, on the tropical island with the Afro people. <laughs> that was funny. The poor carpet's falling apart. Uh, uh, they should make a wish to repair it. It's not that e hard, and you know. And I've been rolling my eyes a lot this video. I don't know why. So like and subscribe, and follow my channels and platforms. And thank you for spending some time with me today. And we'll see you in the next episode of Phoenix in the Carpet Part Seven, the penultimate episode. I'll tell you now what it's called. It's called the hole in the carpet oh so they are going to deal with it good see you next episode <laughs>